Sheridan. In America, there are approximately 50 million people who are addicted to some form of nicotine. That fact is according to Erica Edwards, who is a professor of ecology and evolutionary biology from the NBC News, published in November of 2019. To better understand what 50 million people looks like, the state of California has a population of 39 million people. In America, the amount of people that are addicted to nicotine is like having every single person in the state of California plus, plus 10 more million people addicted to some form of nicotine. Everyone in this room has bought a new pair of shoes. When you buy these pair of shoes, you know what the shoes are gonna do for you, whether it's help you run faster, walk more comfortably, or look better in your prom dress. When you buy a vape, you don't know what the vape is going to do for you. Nicotine is something that is so new to our generation, and with, reward, or with things that you engage in every day, you know what the understand of the risks and the rewards are gonna be for the use. Vaping is not something that you know. The United States Department of Public Health should implement stricter vaping laws. First, I'll talk about the problem with the vaping laws. Second, I'll talk about a possible solution to these vaping laws. First, I'll talk about the many problems. There are many problems with vaping. One of the first ones that stands out is that there, according to Michael Joseph Bahar, a director of the clinical research at the Clinical Center of Prevention, of cardiovascular disease from the John Hopkins Journal of Health published in 2019 states that there are 7,000 different kinds of chemicals in a cigarette. So imagine how many there is inside the nicotine that comes out of the vapes. According to Nora D. Volkow, a research psychiatrist and scientist in a report from the National Institutes on Drug Abuse published in February 2016 states that when manufacturers are making the labels to put on the vapes when they're selling them, they do not have to say what kind of chemicals are in them. So many people use vapes to quit smoking, and they say that that's like their way of quitting smoking is trying this instead of something else, because they think that it is healthier for them, but in real honesty, is it really? No one knows. Vaping could have more chemicals that are harmful in it than what a cigarette does. Many vapes are targeted towards young kids with the amount of different flavors that there are throughout, like all the, at the stores you can buy so many different flavors of juice that you put in, put in your vape. Next, I'll talk about the ways that vaping harms people. So every day, the number of people who vape is continued to rise. According to David Beatty, who has a PhD in economics from the Tobacco Control Journal published January of 2018, states that in the United Kingdom, 6% of people vape, or adults vape. 30.7% of people who vape are, like, are more likely to start smoking than someone who doesn't smoke or vape at all. Ex when you have more exposure to vaping, it makes your urge to vape higher. So when kids are going around school talking about how they're gonna vape, that only makes people around them want to vape more. According to Dr. Tamar Anton, a research scientist at Prevention Research Center who has a doctoral degree in public health, International Journal of Drug Policy published in 2019 states that by the year 2021, 55 million people in America will vape. In the four, er, in 46 states and one U.S. territory have reported that they have had uh, drug problem or drug illnesses related to vaping. Next, I'll talk about the effects that vaping has on your body. Nicotine can raise your blood pressure, and nicotine can sp spike your heart rate. But it could exp if it spikes your heart rate, then you have a higher likelihood of having a heart attack. L or nicotine can also give you lung disease, which there have been many cases um, recorded of that and like stated or put on the news about that. And then a lot of them have been in young kids like us. Uh, next, I'll talk about my solution. I believe that smoking indoors 
or vaping indoors should be banned just like you can't smoke a cigarette indoors. No one likes when you walk into a place and someone was smoking a cigarette, but now they changed that law, so why can't they change the law so that no one can vape indoors? And also, I believe that they should ban, like manufacturers should not be able to target the kids the way that they are. They should have to target not only just kids, but make their target audience a wider variety of people. And I also think that the age to buy vapes should be higher than what it is. And manufacturers should be required to say what is in the vape and say what ingredients there are so people know what they are truly consuming. First, I talked about the problems with the vaping laws. Second, I talked about a possible solution to fix these problems. The United States Department of Public Health should implement stricter vaping laws. Imagine if these 50 million people were not addicted to nicotine. Imagine what America would look like today.